everyone it's patty from ps paper crafts top of the morning to you today we're going to make a good luck card kind of for saint patrick's day uh we're in march so we figured we'd celebrate saint patrick's day um growing up i grew up in a very irish town that really celebrated saint patrick's day we had corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and irish soda bread and we had a big parade in our town so saint patrick's day is a little near and dear to my heart um, I couldn't find a sentiment that said St. Patrick's Day, so in the amazing life, I uh, use the good luck, and then on the inside, I use that little shamrock. So I thought that was cute, and I'll just write Happy St. Patrick's Day. So the way I got the, the three-leaf clover is I used hearts, which I can imagine you can see that. Um, I used the support ribbon framelits, and I used this heart. I tried the little heart, but I like the big heart better. So look through your framelits and see what you have um, for other uses. And then the branch, I just cut myself freehand. Um, I use the stitched rectangle, or the rectangle sh stitched framelits. I use the, I think it's this one, the fourth from the biggest. I just love these, I think these are great. Um, so I did all my cutting already, um, just to save some time. But the way I did this was I would take the the, um, the framelit and I would put it over a piece of cardstock. This is uh, Call Me Clover cardstock. And I would just put the frame over it and run it through my Big Shot and I would cut it out. So I cut out three hearts and then again I just fussy cut the, this is two of them, the, uh, the stem. So we'll put that away and we'll get started on our card. Not a lot of stamping. Um, I did stamp the sentiment first just to get my placement down and everything in this card is call me clover so we're doing a clover card makes perfect sense right so we will use the good luck I already have it mounted and I'm just gonna put this in the bottom left and then I'm going to close this up and we'll make our shamrock or three leaf clover, whichever you want to call it. So let's see. What I did was I kind of placed the pieces to get it where I wanted it. Kind of did the stem. And once I kind of figured out where I wanted everything, I glued them down. And I did put a little um, gem in the center just to hide the where everything meets. So let's get, I think I'm going to make the skinnier side go up this way. And we'll just kind of get everything where we think we want it. And I'll put the stem down first. I'm using liquid glue for these just to make it easier. So let me get that out. And you just need a little bit of liquid glue. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to lightly get glue on it and then we'll place it down probably should use tweezers or something but i think i've got it and then i can push it kind of into place and now i just want to i want to cover that up in the middle with the leaves so i'm going to just put i'm going to put it only on the bottom and we'll just do one at a time And we'll just go right in a row. So yeah, I was a big St. Patrick's Day person. Wasn't thrilled with the corned beef and cabbage, but the parade was good. And my father-in-law made the best Irish soda bread around. It has raisins in it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's delicious. That was the highlight. And we all got to leave with a loaf. So he made tons of them for the family. We'd all go and see the parade together, eat together, and then leave with a loaf of bread. <laughs> so it was really good. Okay, the way I'm going to cover this kind of center is they have um, these Happiness, happiness Blooms um, enamel dots. And I'm just going to put one of the large ones right in the middle just to kind of cover it up. And then just to coordinate that, I put three across the bottom of the middle size. So we'll do one 
you could do the big or the little, whatever you want. Two. I'll get this guy over here. I like to use this tool with them. It makes it easy to pick them up, sort of. Looks like I was struggling there. Three. Okay. And we'll put these aside. And then I just glued this down <clears throat> on top of here. So I just put a little glue on the back of this piece. I try to be very careful with how much I squeeze on here. You don't want big blobs because sometimes they dry as a blob and then you can see through it. And what this lets you do is just kind of move it around before it dries. Okay. And then this paper is from the Happiness Blooms. And this is where I got the idea for the card, to be honest. I, um, I saw this and I thought of shamrocks. So this is in the um, Occasions catalog. Isn't it pretty? It's so bold. And I saw this and I was like, wow, that looks like clovers. It's that green. I just kind of thought this would be great for this card. So that's where I got the idea for this card, actually. Um, so we're going to put this down and then I'm going to pop this one up. So we'll just get some glue. Look at the back of this. Isn't that pretty? It's a little busy, but if you use it the right way, it works. And if you want to know what all the dimensions are, you can just go to my blog, patty at uh, pspapercrafts.com, I should say, or email me, patty at pspapercrafts.com. And... Um, I can help you out if you need any more information. You can shop for these products on my blog as well. So I'm going to pop these up with dimensionals. And um, I'm really down on my dimensionals. But I like to use these parts, so don't waste them. Get your scissors and just kind of, I think I'll cut it this way and just get some strips going. So that should work out good. There's four pieces. So we'll put one, two, three, I know this is a little awkward the way I'm holding them, four. And that just pops it up a little bit, gives you a little bit of dimension and interest in your project. Just peel off the backs and now it's ready to stick down. So just make sure your card's opening in the right direction. Learn that the hard way. And just press it down. See, it works out well. So on the inside, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I have a couple of clovers on the bottom. These are four leaf clovers instead of the three leaf. Let's just put that together. And where did I put my ink? Here it is. I'll just get my ink. And just do one on that corner. And then have one falling down. There we go. And then you can um, write whatever you want. You could use this. I mean, it says good luck. You don't have to use it for St. Patrick's Day. If somebody uh, is trying to get a job or get into college or going on a trip or whatever you can use a good luck card right and let's see get that down and we're done aren't they cute I think they're fun and bright and uh, I think I'm gonna send these to my grandkids as they celebrate um, St. Patrick's Day well thanks for stopping by um, Come back again next week and we'll have another video. You could see my blog in between my videos. I do have um, cards that I make and I post all the, you know, the steps and directions and the finished products on the um, blog itself. So PSPaperCrafts.com. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.